Hey everybody, um, just want to do a video documentary of what's going on with my CPS case. Uh, they took my baby from the hospital when he was born, like two or three days after he was born. Um, they, had fought, they had made up lies and uh, total fraud when they took him. Um, and then he's being abused in uh, foster care and the judge and the lawyers and the, they all deny it and say that he's not being abused um, right here you can see his head has a big dent right here now he had a perfectly round head now it's flat on one side and it's uh, dented on the other um, okay here I'm not going to show that one oh. but that was where it actually looked like sexual assault. And, uh, all right, let's see. I got, this is a DUI I got after seeing him uh, with the uh, injuries from what appears to be sexual assault. Here, oops, okay, here. He's got like a third degree burn, sunburn across his face. Uh, they didn't let us see him for two weeks when that happened, trying to let it heal before uh, before they let us see him. But you can, see, as you can see, it's still pretty bad when uh, when they finally let us see him. Um, there's a bruise right there. He's had tons of bruises. And then here, uh, CPS case plan comes out, the new case plan, and look what they have my less than one year at the time son. They have him autism. There's no way to even tell uh, a child that age if he's autistic, and they listed him as autistic in this case plan. And uh, I know they get more money for... Um, kids with disabilities so that and they, and they shot them full of like 12 or 15 vaccines already and I think they're trying to make them autistic um, so when asked about uh, when asked about about it uh, when I asked about it here's what their answer was this is Kathleen Martonsic. Um why do you have my boy listed as autistic uh I say, what the fuck is wrong with you people? What are you planning on doing to him? He is not autistic. He is too young to diagnose as autistic. So why the fuck does it say he is autistic? I want an answer on this immediately. My son is not your cash cow. He is a human being, a child. I will get to the bottom of this. You are evil people and you belong behind bars and um, so she replies uh, if you mention or if you intended to attach something wait what documents do you have listing your son as autistic did you see it in, it in a diagnostic document or in something else and I said, it's listed on Marsha's new case plan. So wait until uh, you hear her ex explanation for it. Um, she goes, she says it's a typo. Mr. Moose, uh, thank you for bringing uh, the reference to autism to the recent report to my attention. When I saw your email last night, I shared your concerns with or that a child as young as yours would have been diagnosed with autism without significant testing, that uh, that we all would have been aware of. So I followed up on it immediately. I've been assured it is a typo. It will be corrected, and I will make sure the next time we are all in court that I let the judge know that it was a typo. It is my understanding that there are codes that get inputted that are associated with all types of medical things, from the common cold to autism to cancer. 
No one is saying Grayson ha uh, has any of these issues. I'm using them as examples. If, if you accidentally key in the wrong number, then the wrong medical term pops up. I imagine that's what happened uh, here. So you mean to tell me that um, it's as simple as pushing the wrong button to label a kid with the wrong medical problems and therefore giving him the wrong medication? I mean, how, how often do they do they get these typos and the kid gets the wrong medication and, uh, uh, you know, they did, they put it, uh, they put him as autistic on purpose and this is just an excuse. But, uh, you know, this is just one of the things they're doing to terrorize us. Okay, now, let's see this one. Yeah, that's another day. There's my son right there. Big old knot on his head. There's another one. There's tons of these. So, um, every time we see him, he's got new injuries. And, and then they got me labeled as uh, aggressive and hostile because I'm trying to save my son from these people. And they're using that against me to not give him back to me. Um, let's see. Here's that sunburn again. That was bad. That was two weeks after it happened. There's his poor head. It's all shaped wrong. And he was born with a perfectly round head. Um. Uh, Kathleen, he is four months old. He was injured in the first two months. I want his injuries to be fixed before he gets too old and has to live this way for his lifetime. I'm tired of not getting a reply from DCS and no one will answer the phone. Um, I'm trying to get them to put him in a helmet to correct his head that uh, somehow uh, got lopsided now. I don't, that, I don't know if... It's just from leaving them in one spot, but there's a big, and I know that would flatten it, but there's a big dent on the other side, and it almost looks like somebody kicked him like a football. And uh, so they take him to the hospital, and we get this hospital report, and this is about his head. And then right here, it clearly says, child physical abuse suspected initial encounter. It says it right there from the doctor, from... Uh, Phoenix Children's Hospital, and they told us that, or, you know, the same one that just told us that, uh, that the autistic thing was a typo, uh, told us that, um, his head was, is a genetic thing, and, and there's no, no, no abuse, nothing going on, nothing to worry about, it's all a genetic thing, and none of my kids have a flat head with a dent on the side. And so they're covering up it. They're covering up the abuse that is happening to my son. And it feels like every time, um, you know, anytime I speak out, they they're hurting him to get to me. Is what it feels like. See right here. Uh, Concern for dent in his head and a red uh, mark on his back. Plague, uh, let's see, plague, uh, let's see, I don't know what that word, I can't say that word, but that right there, uh, right skull flatter than left with appearance of indentation. These are all the hospital records. They say abuse right on them. Concerns for abuse, yes. Right there. This is from the foster parents. And uh, the court is covering this up. The court says that it's genetics. And that my son's head went that way because that's how his head was going to grow. And look at that. Concerns for abuse, yes. They deny it. And they refuse to do anything to protect my son. Um, they took him from me with false false claims of uh abuse uh or neglect or whatever they i, I can, whatever they were trying to say that it, that he might be neglected we never even took him home from the hospital and then they stick him somewhere where he's being abused and just because now they're collecting money on him uh they don't care about him 
it's not about him. It's about or his safety. It's about collecting them, all the money they can off of him. And this is uh, this is why my whole life is uh, spiraling down into the tubes because it, I I can't do nothing to help my boy, and I'm his dad, and it's my job to protect him. And uh, these guys are are torturing us. They're torturing my son and. Me now, now I got a warrant out, and they they got a removal order for my newborn, and they're hunting us, and um, it's all fraud, and I and I just want it to stop. I want to go back. To, I had a I you I had a a family business when Grayson was born. I had everything set up for him, and now it's a year later, and and they've totally ruined everything. There's another bruise. Um, there's more of his head. Uh, let's see. Poor little guy. I miss him so bad. I, ha I haven't seen him since our newborn was born because we had to leave the hospital. And they cut all, all ties to my son. And we're very close with him. And uh, they don't even care um, what that's doing to him by not seeing us. Uh, all they care about is is their fraud and, and uh, robbing us and I think they're, you know they're pretty much trying to kill us I think they hope that the that the parents uh, uh, get stricken with depression and everything and 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 kill themselves because that happens a lot more than more than uh, you think and uh, then the parents are gone and they're happy because they get to collect all the money they can off these kids and the kids are being are suffering the uh, foster system is full of pre uh, sexual predators and uh, uh, I mean it's all through the news you can look it up they're they're abusing kids in foster care all over the place and the courts are hiding it the courts are the ones uh, trafficking our children um, uh, with all the research I've done since they took him, it, it scares me to death. Sometimes it, it's uh, it's like paralyzing. Uh, I haven't been able to work, run my business. I haven't been able to uh, do anything. Uh, so let's see. Cannot exclude uh, non-accurate sub. Thorough collections. Recommended MRI uh, valuation. Child physical abuse suspected. Initial encounter. Um, the CT shows uh, widened extra axial uh, spaces and possible non-acute subdural uh, collections noted so I don't know what that means but uh, they obviously see that something happened to my son and it does not preclude the possibility of prior injuries so now we get into some of the emails we've sent I've sent them back and forth um, my emails are pretty, pretty angry and, uh, cuss words and stuff like that. But, um, you know, uh, watching my son be tortured and, and my rights, uh, be, be, you know, taken and, and I've done nothing wrong. And now they got, they got this fake, uh, phony case against me. Um, and I can, I'm going to show you on uh, their, their evidence that, uh, you can see that they're, they're build, building a bullshit, uh, case. They're fabricating a case against me. Okay. Do any of you understand the complete hell I am going through when a felony is committed to kidnap my son and the people in charge of justice ignore the fact uh, then watch my son suffer 
irreversible damage and I can't protect him due to the involvement of state officials. As a father, this is the biggest nightmare imaginable. The people who should be helping me are involved in the crime. That leaves me no one to turn to. My life and everything I've worked for is on hold and slowly deteriorating as I focus on finding justice against a powerful child trafficking ring that is backed by the state. I'm facing an impossible challenge to protect my son and not one bone in my body is ready to accept defeat and watch my son suffer. What you failed to mention in the doctors, uh, to the doctors about his head is that he smelled like he hadn't uh, been bathed in weeks. Uh, also on that first visit after lockdown, are you uh, claiming that smell was also genetic? The two go hand in hand for a proper diagnosis. It was repeated by the parent aid who was also very concerned with the injuries. You guys are covering up the real neglect because you are all profiting from the illegal imprisonment of my child. I have filed on the record proof of false information given in the court by the Department of Child Safety. It is very clear to see the intentions of all of the agents involved, and it's not the safety of Grayson that is the concern with any of you. Heath Robson abused his daughter. He should be the focus of your investigation. Instead, you're sp spending all of your resources going after me, an innocent man who is trying to protect his child from the dangers of the foster care system in this state. Many children have suffered abuse, neglect, and even death uh, in state's care. No child has suffered anything in my care. This whole case is based on perjury of Rhonda Christopher, which is a felony and that needs to be addressed first and foremost. This will be oh, sorry. this will be a stain on the reputation of everyone involved when all is said and done. Um, I have looked at each and everything you have sent me. Oh, no, then this is the response. Uh, I've looked at each and everything you have sent me and responded thoughtfully and thoroughly. I understand your frustration, but I assure you that I have been doing this for a lot, for many years, and I take every case of mine seriously. Uh, let me address your substantive concerns uh, again in turn.